tutoring business. Uh, Sianda, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. Um, and to the community at large, I'm very, very happy and uh, honored to be sharing my story and my mm. business with you today. Wow. All right. Um, in that notion of sharing uh, your story, maybe you could start by giving us a little bit of a background into who you are and also your journey towards starting the business itself. All right. Um, my name is Sianda Mashati, as you had introduced me before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm 30 years of age. Okay. And uh, I got into the world of business 30 years ago when I was born. Um, it's business is all I've known. My mother was a businesswoman her whole life. So okay. kula, da kula, business. And mm. you know, all of the role models that I have in my family, my mother's siblings, um, you know, my father's side of the family as well. Every role model that I have is a successful business owner. So wow. I want to have my own business. Mm, mm, interesting. Hey, I was taken aback then. Bali meds faster. I demanded the meds is not meds. What is going on here? So I, get, I guess like you quickly, you quickly answered it because I'm like, ah, did she say she's thirty now? How can she <laughs> yes. So yeah, I think that's really wonderful. You know, mm -hmm. um, the opportunity to you know, to have a family that like uzale logi family in the business. It's, it's a real opportunity, and I think it's a blessing because abandaba ninzi uestina is abandaba miyama. We don't get that opportunity. Like when we have mm -hmm. to get into business, it's such a struggle because as far as we can't language it. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I we can't language mm -hmm. it. It's not easy because I see I, we're not as exposed to it. So. Now with early business, you fumble and figure it out, like literally in change completely. But I think it's beautiful that, you know, when you were one of the lucky ones, we're able to get born into it. And now um, talk to us about Usoring Scholars. Um, um, what what was the idea behind that? How did that come up? You know, um, what were you <laughs> thinking? And yeah, yeah, give us give us a bit of a, a hint on that. This is my favorite question, Ke, when I talk about Soaring Scholars. I love telling the story. Okay. Um, just a little bit of a backstory. Mm. I I studied psychology when I was in university. Wow. But that in that and ufunda. And I'm afraid of going into the world of work. Mm. Um, so my <laughs> my business partner and I, who was my who's my best friend, and she we were best friends from varsity. Wow. Uh, so uh, we decided that we actually want to take at least a year off and go abroad just to travel and just see what is out there. Mm. Um, and so we we went and we traveled abroad and we were teaching um, English abroad. So okay. one year turned into three because we fell in love with education and teaching mm. and just the exposure of uh, particularly um, online education and e-learning that mm. we had learned when we were in Thailand. I mean, Abandwana were in grade one and they were doing PowerPoint presentations on their own, you know, and those mm -hmm. were things that we were not seeing in South Africa. And wow. so in Thailand, um, mm. we decided that, you know, at the end of the day, back to South Africa, we don't want to live here forever. And we we want to take what we've learned and to bring it and to bring it home and to bring something wow. innovative like this back home. Mm -hmm. So Soaring Scholars was a couch conversation uh, on a random weekday, you know, we said, you know, we should in actually Thailand. Yes, in Thailand. <laughs> mm -hmm. In 2018. Wow. And uh, and we and we decided that you know we should do something like this, and it was a conversation. So COVID happened, Sakotuka, and we came back to South Africa, and we thought now is there's no better time than now because so much more than just our ideas. It is Ifika, and you know the transition to online <clears throat> learning, sure. the forced was very transition. Difficult. Yes, mm -hmm. and Ibinzima for Abandwan, and you know unfortunately in South Africa our education system doesn't really have those systems in place you know mm -hmm. so everything was was very sudden and and unexpected and mm -hmm. we found that a lot of children actually fell behind 
in mm. their grades when it came to that. It was a struggle, you know, internet, having a stable internet at home. Those are still struggles that we have as a country, as a mm. whole, mm. Um, that has really held us back in terms of online education. Mm. And so we thought, you know, we need to start now because Abandwana needs something like this. The, the, mm. the, the future generation of South Africa needs something like this. Mm. And so that's how Soaring, start, uh, Soaring Scholars started. We thought, you know what, let's do this. And but <laughs> the most important thing was what we were doing it for. And it was for mm. the education mm. of the young children. And so we provide academic support, on after school academic support. Okay. Um, online, our classes are strictly online. We have children from grade R, Bana six, seven, um, oh. and they know how to use Zoom. By you know how to mute, connect the microphones, how to connect on their own. So also that independence is something that we're very, very passionate about. You know, education is your future, so mm. it's up to you to really, you know, Make be ahead fun. and and yeah. steer and steer it ahead and take control. Oh, wow. Wow, I think that's such an amazing story. That's like a wonderful, wonderful story. Um, I would have never thought of, thought, you know, uh, you know, uh, psychologists potential yeah. <laughs> psychologists, like psychology students, you know, um, or graduates would actually come up with, with such an idea. And because of the external, you know, out of country kind of exposure, um, because mm. one would also ask, but I mean, how did you even get into that? <laughs> you know, but um, it's so interesting, the journey um, that one follows until they find some kind of purpose in life, because I mean, it, it it was literally brought by you guys leaving and 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 seeing you know these things um can be available and oh, i think it's also commendable that you were able to see the opportunity you know, during covid and i think that was like a perfect match because yeah. at that time it did like it was seriously uh, something that was needed and i think you know having implemented it uh, also allowed you guys a chance you know you can groom it and you can change the narrative your it can't be done about by bone practically now mm. i i want to give you an opportunity to also just um for someone who doesn't understand exactly what you do, I see one in that, you know, you've mentioned one, one line to say it's after school academic support for students. Is that the only thing that you offer? Um, which grades does it begin? Like Ninza from A to, it's not A, grade, grade, grade one, to <laughs> grade 12 <laughs> subjects, you know, just give us a little bit of context there. Okay. Um, so firstly, our grades, we start from grade R up to grade nine. So that would be your, your kindergarten, your foundation phase, um, intermediate phase up to senior phase. So up sure. to grade nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we offer all the subjects, all the primary school subjects. So that's including English, maths, um, Afrikaans, you know, NS, EMS, social sciences, um, mm -hmm. et cetera. So all of the subjects that is 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 called before abandon about choose is subject desirable sure. um, from grade 10 onwards. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. right now at the moment, or oh, the only thing that we do offer is after school um one on one. The the okay. the tutoring sessions are one on one. Okay. Um, after school, we are working on um de developing a reading a literacy program, which okay. will target abandwana like abasebangin that are still starting to learn how to read, um and those kinds of things because that's another issue that we have. I read uh last year there was a a newspaper article last year that was saying from the Department of Education Bana, I think it was something like eighty percent of grade four students. In South yeah, Africa, I, I remember you know, that one. Mm, mm. Yes, they cannot read to comprehend. They mm. cannot comprehend what they're reading. And so we are working on um, doing a literacy program, which we will be um, launching later on in the year. But okay. Ogwangogu, we just offer online um, tutoring one on one. So mm -hmm. whatever subjects that you're struggling with, um, if Mklam Danako is struggling with the maths, then they would do maths either once a week, twice a week, or four times a week. Mm -hmm. um, with the same tutor. So we also believe in that that kind of relationship, you know, to to know if you know your students, then you'll know how to teach them. Because mm -hmm. Abana Naba fan. And yeah, ke, yeah. and ke, we cannot blame the teachers. It's Korean. You know, Abana by 40, there's only one teacher. So they don't get mm -hmm. that customized it's learning. Individual. And so that mm -hmm. is what they get at soaring. It's one-on-one. -on -one. You have the same tutor right through. 
Um, we've been operating since 2021. We've had students that have been with us since 2021. And wow. like, and Banoti every year they want the same person. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we, our, sub, our, our lessons are very much student focused and they cater to the needs, the specific needs of the students. Wow. So we create games as well. Um, we do digital um, resources to help us to engage with the curriculum so that this is our, this is our teacher and teacher school way. Sure, um, sure. And so it's very important we engage with the parents as well. We want to know about when they school any report every term. We want school reports. We give progress reports on our lessons as well. So sure. it's very, very one on one individualized, you know, in that individual attention for both the students and the parents. So, you know, exactly what you're paying for and you know exactly what, you know, your child is struggling with and the improvements that they've made. Mm, mm, that's wonderful. And then, you know, I'm just thinking, sitting here, listening to you, um, Ubana, what about the parents though? What if, what if I'm, I'm not, I'm not at school, but you know, I feel like I have a gap on, on something. And I'm asking this because I'm currently struggling with Afrikaans. I don't mm -hmm. really know Afrikaans. I think I went through school just to pass it. And mm. now my kids, my little kids are taking up the Afrikaans and I cannot help them. Like, you know, I, I already they're in grade one, um, R and and three, but I'm already feeling like you know what this is really getting higher than I can handle. You know, mm. so would you be able to tutor because because I need basics, you know? And I'm thinking of another parent who feels like it would be nice for my child to be taught, but it would also be nice that I know so that at least when I'm helping them out or when they are asking this time, the tutor is not there at the moment, the teacher is not there. It's five in the evening they they're asking a question at least so that nam dingumzali i can be able to engage so do you guys have something like that we actually have a case um that we have dealt with that was like that but the subject was isitosa um i had a i had a grade 4 student who was coming to to have for us to have course lessons and umamake inumsu to efuna ofuna isitosa nayo Mm. And so I was, I, I was the tutor that was doing his course. And um, so I was having one-on-one -on -one with her um, with twice mom. a week and then having one-on-one -on -one wow. with her son four times wow. a week. Wow. And with that, what I was doing Gengoku, is that I was almost merging the two, the two, um, the two of them into one. So if I'm doing whatever vocabulary the ends are with them. Obviously, when it comes to the child, I'm, I'm creating games, yes. you know, but we are content. Then I customize it for the parent so that it's more, you know, for an adult. adult. You know? So it's more conversational when sure. it comes to the adult. So, yes, we oh, do do that. We as do well. offer that. And then the duration of uh, the lessons, because I know some people might um, also be interested to know, but how long um, then does it take for a class? Do you, do, like, I don't know what you call it, but for a, a tutoring session. Yeah, let me say the yes. tutoring session. How long <laughs> is it primarily? Is it dependent on, on the child or how do you how do you do that? Our sessions are 60 minutes, so one hour. An hour. Um, okay. We feel that that is at least, it, 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 that is how it becomes effective. 30 minutes is too short mm. um, for, for Umdana to really grasp as well what's happening because our tutoring sessions are broken down into, you know, you teach the concept, you practice the concept as well in class, and then you give additional resources after the lesson okay. sure. um, to reinforce what was done in the session. And mm. so we, our sessions are one hour. Okay. Um, there's three different lesson packages that we have. So it depending on your availability, but also okay. depending on how much help your, your child mm -hmm. needs. Yeah, you know? okay, so the level. If, mm -hmm. if Ufunanje just to brush up, you know, right, but Ufunanje just a revision, or you want to make sure Bamdanako is doing revision at least it. once a week, mm -hmm. yeah, then you can do sessions once a week, Okanye twice a week, Okanye four times a week. So four times a week is more, e target market here to, or rather, e students are more the younger ones abends are four times a week because you really want to you know to to keep that that routine and that Angali reinforcement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and um uh, what are some of e e e misconceptions uh, that people have about the online learning guys and I'm trying to be as you would hear from general people but maybe even from family members do what's the something that you like yo I can Lena is really I want to debunk this one Mm. And this also comes even when I advertise, you know, they want tutoring and they ask, is it face-to-face -face or online? It's online. 
Then they always go, yo, I can walk. Mdanu zafunda njani, uticha enge eko. Apa pam kwa ki. Yeah, well, that's always the, one of the biggest misconceptions. Mm. And so that is something that we focus on. Um, we focus on a lot in our tutoring session. So the misconception of that day is that lack of interaction and engagement because mdana ke eko. Um, so the way in which we tackle that is that we use a range of interactive tools. So, okay. you know, we use like collaborative tools as well online. The internet is an amazing place if you really know how to use it. Mm. And um, when it comes to education, we are really on our way of mastering how we can utilize the internet to mm. ensure that, you know, our lessons are engaging. So, for example, we do our sessions on Zoom, but, you know, the 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 tutor will share a screen. You know, you can also give remote control to Mdana. So if I'm playing a game and I want them to click I can I can make that setting on Zoom where they are having remote control and then they are clicking on my screen. And so that also is a way for them to be engaging with you. Mm. Um, and of course, the camera is always on because you need to see facial expression. You're done. Sure. I'm born sure. done it. I say offline. <laughs> We're offline, but okay, you need to switch it up. Yeah, well. yeah. So interactive whiteboards is what we use, um, as well as a lot of um, educational games. Some, A lot of them we find online, and a lot of them we also create ourselves. You know, yeah. I did a, a snakes and ladders game using um, Google Slides. Uh, wow. for one of my grade four students last year and why I turned out Fortnite like Fortnite was something that he loved so what I did is then I you know changed the background and the characters for it to have like is in Rizka Fortnite and that already gives him that interest to mm. be like oh you know this is like Fortnite this is interesting I let can, me participate <laughs> yes <laughs> and then, and then, times table yeah but also fun, yeah, fun the times table but it's also mm. exciting for them wow. to see something that they like that mm. immediately sparks their interest. Mm. Um, so interaction and engagement is is one is one way in which we we tackle that misconception. Mm. And also even the quality of instruction, you know, Abandu are like, you know, you don't know what the child is doing behind the camera. And so mm-hmm. what we do is that, um, you know, we, like I said, we make our, our sessions really, really tailored to the student's need. It is customized. Mm-hmm. Even though they are both in grade four, I cannot do for another one. It in is, it is where you do it. Jela. Yes. Sure. It is completely customized. One of mm-hmm. my tutors was doing um, reading and comprehension in Afrikaans with, um, with a grade eight student about two years ago. Mm-hmm. And so a grade eight student loved, she loved history. And that was like that she loved to read up on, you know, isn't does in the guy was like dala. And mm. so what if we already who's our tutor, what she did is that she took a comprehension in English about Adolf Hitler, but why translate into Afrikaans. Oh, and so wow. now your student is learning about so history, which is what they're interested mm. in, but mm. they're doing it in Afrikaans. Wow. So we really, you know, emphasize that our 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 lessons are very much student-centered. Mm. Um and we also we also really, really communicate with the parents. You know, Zali, the role that you play in your child's education is so important. important. And so we encourage that we have, I have direct communication with all of the parents. Um, I give them, you know, feedback. They talk to me. Sometimes we even go as far as even they share the, the, the numbers and contact details of the teachers at school. And we're willing to even go that far. So that mm. is our tetano teacher, because sometimes there's a behavioral problem in class scene, let's say. Yeah. Sure, so sure. those are things that we want to know so that we are able to, to make sure that our sessions are tailored to really give that academic support. Wow, that is really, really lovely. And it's, it's so unique, hey? Um, but at the end of the day, why not use technology to um, you know, achieve the, the objectives that we have? You know, what, what always amazes me with Abandona Bangogo, you'll find a three-year-old... <clears throat> And, and no one has taught that child how to use that phone, but the yeah. way they're using, they're even showing you things that you didn't know mm-hmm. were there, which means that, you know, we, 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 we don't, we no longer have a generation that is not able to interact with the technology. So we can put that aside, you know, from a young age, they can interact with these devices. Nobody TV, nobody, like my, for instance, my son can be able to do things on, on those TV boxes and stuff that I don't even know, you know, mm-hmm. and, and no one has really taught them, you know, kind of from fiddling, they can figure it out and they can, I don't know if we, they're born tech, 
save you. Okay, you're going to get up. It's, it's so interesting. So why not mm. use these mediums again? We're going to introduce education because we want yeah. our students to be a students as much as possible. Like umdana is the best in class. So. I think I think it's really nice to use um you know uh, avenues such as online mm -hmm. tutoring as well especially if they can add value to the child's education and now before we wrap it up um do you have something that maybe you want to mention about your plans for the future um uh, as soaring scholars sorry as soaring scholars that you you, you are having in the pipeline Yes. So as I'd mentioned before we are going to be doing a literacy program we're going to be running a literacy program um which we will launch from the second term um, okay. of this year. So Yongito Si and Zayo at Soaring, and my business partner and I are very much hands-on. Her name is Mbali, Mbali Msiza. Okay. Um, we're very much hands-on. So even the literacy program, we are the ones doing it. We're setting it up. We're doing the research, you know, finding all the, the, the research that we need for it and implementing it and putting it together ourselves. And so um, that's one thing that we have in the pipeline uh, for this year. Okay. And um, of course, we just we just want to continue really just making an impact. We really want to continue making an impact. The testimonials that we have received from our parents are so amazing. We've had a bandwana increase 30 percent, um, you know, goes from 60 to 95. This is a proven like it's it's it, wow. it is it is a, 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 a case, case that has happened, a real case that has happened after two terms. Um, we had a, a, a child in grade six for English and after two terms, she increased from 60 to 95. Wow. So we really want to continue seeing that. There's nothing that motivates me more than hearing those, those feedback and those reports back wow. from the parents. Wow. And that is what, what, that is what motivates us. And, um, and also, but get, this is not for this year. This will be maybe for next year. We also want to do a grade one readiness program. So this will be tailored for the babies and the little ones, oh, you know, wow. before we done, I think to grade one, just for you to have those basic phonics and those maths concepts. This mm -hmm. is a big of a bit, it's a bit of a big jump from grade R to grade one. So we want to then also start a readiness program for grade one that will run for six months while mm. you are in grade R to get you ready for grade one. Even things like sitting on a table, you know, Abandona, you don't realize that they struggle to do that when they get to grade one. They're not used to sitting and, yeah. you know, because <laughs> yeah. you know? so, so yeah. little things like that to get your little ones really ready for big school, yeah. as they say. Amazing. Since one can depict it details is that call uh, for um pull up a kai who wants to maybe knock on your door. So basically as services uh good people, uh okay, pull up they are available no ba up like literally no ba up. She can be able to help you, Sianda, and uh, her team at Soaring Scholars, Noba Upina. So you can just contact her. Please give us your 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 contact details, um, email if you have WhatsApp or I don't know, Facebook, whatever yes. that someone can be able to use. Okay, firstly, um, you can reach me on my cell number, which yes. is also WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. um, the number is 081-361-4136. All right. 081-361-4136. That's WhatsApp. We also have a website, so you can check out our website at www.soaringscholars.co.za. Um, and so you can see a little bit of what we offer and a bit of our backstory as the founders, as well as you'll be able to, you know, book a, a session and um, and contact us via them. Mm -hmm. um, we also have an email address, which is mm -hmm. info at soaringscholars.co.za. Mm -hmm. um, so you can also send us an, an, an email and mm -hmm. we are available on social media. Uh, we have a very active WhatsApp and Instagram uh, account. So you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And it is Soaring Scholars SA on both Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram is where we post and connect really with our audience. So we, pay, we post latest news, updates, testimonials. Um, that's where you can also really get into the day-to-day -day, um, of what we do. Wow. Sissy, thank you so much for coming through. I'm sure Mpula Pulekai has learned a lot. I have also learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sis. Thank you very much for having me. Mm. All right. Mpula Pulekai Community Radio, that was a, an interesting conversation.